people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the uh, trading setup that I shared about gold and silver yesterday uh, price it have followed the path that we forecasted and it was pretty nice trading setup I myself has closed my own uh, trade in today's video we are going to talk about crude oil so if you have missed the video of about gold and silver you can go back to uh, my previous uh, analysis I have two dates mention uh, for gold and silver and then you can check on go about what dates are mentioned about uh, forming a top and a bottom very very important analysis uh, in today's video we're going to talk about um, crude oil now first of all let's have a look on a, this is the weekly chart in front of us okay uh, the way initially uh, I was expecting that we have a kind of completed probably a W right over here A B and C and then another A B and a C uh, hence uh, we have a complete clear 5 wave structure from over here right over here we can say so I was considering this is probably is a W this probably is an X and a Y uh, but it looks like things are looking very different uh, the reason is because when the we have seen uh, prices falling from 126 um, till few days before we had 84 I think bottom was around 82 80, 81.50 what has really surprised me and what has actually uh, made me think is uh, we can look at this particular top right over here this one so we can bring it right over here and we can see that when it kind of gives you a different impression about the price movement it gives you kind of that this was a resistance point kind of prices cleared the resistance point clearly and came back and sat on, on top of this structure so this is very very important uh, it's on its own uh, we have completed the pattern that actually started from over here I'll discuss that pattern and then from let's see uh, we are what we are doing on a daily time frame okay uh, one of the beauty of Elliott wave analysis is the since I was looking at the uh, waves individually uh, most of the time you were able to uh, give a forecast uh, based on the individual waves we were not looking at the larger pattern we were paying attention to this wave this wave and this wave so here's the labeling of it I gave an analysis the other day that you're expecting for the price to go down and that's the reason I'm sharing my analysis today and I believe that we have actually created a bottom right over here now things are looking very different I it's a, the labeling has been redone right now so I wanted to give an analysis today so if someone is actually bearish can actually uh, change uh, things for me. this top that we have seen let me go back on an hourly time frame and uh, not top the bottom okay this is looking interesting now so I'm turning uh, bullish from over here right now especially a higher bottom and we can see that the daily time frame chart if the daily candlestick is bounced and it closes with a uh, bullish day or a reversal pattern on the daily candlestick pattern that would give us an indication that we are finding support right over here in this area you see so we are finding support on this area and this is also kind of gives us a double bottom as well and we have this bottom and we have a higher bottom so this its own is very important give us an indication that we are to expect pr the prices to go on the upside now from this point uh, it's we can clearly label the things we have some sort of uh, let me have a look first of all we have a clear wave one and two three and four and a five so we have a clear five wave structure and from this top we can clearly see a corrective structure right over here so we can call it as wave one and we can call it as wave two and we are expecting for the price to go upward is it uh, we have to go to and fro um, in between time frame to make understand of what we are expecting in the price behavior okay and I'll I'll take you back uh, from over here to weekly time frame or a daily time frame at least at least uh, let's go about with the, with the weekly time frame so the way the prices have active couple of things are possible right now one thing is that we have completed this correction pattern right over here this being an impulsive wave this being a corrective pattern now we can easily label this ra wave right over here impulsive so we can easily label the start of the wave this is wave 1 and uh, 2 and we can label this as 3 
and four and then we have five okay let me crack the we can call it a primary probably it's not minute we can I think it's a good intermediate not primary let's call it int intermediate okay and let's have a look this one we have seen the correction the correction has kind of ended in the wave fourth uh, fallen into the wave four of a previous impulse wave so a couple of things are possible the correction is complete and then we are to see a new impulsive wave from over here the other possibility is that this correction is only part of the larger correction and we are to go up and come down as well all right both cases both the alternate count and the main count are actually indicating that we are to see price going upward the reason because this structure is complete the structure that actually starts from over here is complete so in both cases whether the correction is going on and or not we are still expected to go upward and that's why I have come up with a bullish uh, analysis for uh, crude oil and let's say the correction has actually completed over here because fundamental analysis is looking really difficult we cannot completely uh, close our eyes to the fundamental analysis we are well aware of the that winter is approaching and uh, Russia is uh, keeping its supply supply to the lowest, especially with the Europe. It means the price is expected to shoot really high. Inflation is out of control, and with crude oil uh, approaching to the highest level, uh, that is going to give us some really shock uh, about other articles as well. So inflation is coming is is a reality, and we can see that it's kind of reflective as well on our Elliott wave analysis as well. So I think right now that we have completed an impulsive, we have completed a part of correction or the whole correction and we are bullish from over here and I wanted to share with you guys. Let's have a look on an hourly time frame. Uh, um, yeah, so we have seen a reflection right over here. We have seen a reflection right over here in this range. Uh, pretty nice. So I'm expecting a bullish move from over here. And uh, I'm going to rely on one of the um, WD GAN's uh, trading methodology in which he simply followed the, uh, the market. He did not forecast anything, he just simply followed the market. And the way to follow the market is that we can see that we have a low formed right over here, we have a high formed right over here, over over here, and then we have a higher low formed right over here. In case you cannot see that because it's on hourly time frame. We can definitely draw a daily time frame and uh, it will give you kind of um, that sense that okay yeah we have seen kind of a reversal right from over here and then we have seen uh, at least equivalency forming over here and we can see that there is some sort of a head and shoulder pattern a reverse head and shoulder fo pattern being formed so we can what we can do is let's have a look uh, I think we have a pattern here as well somewhere in the reverse head and shoulder pattern Let's have a look on a four hourly time frame and see if we can actually uh, fit things a little better. Okay. So we can see that this trend is coming down and this kind of gives us a, a left shoulder and this kind of gives us a head right over here and this is our right shoulder right over here. This line is the neckline. So a reverse head and shoulder is expected is not exactly at horizontal it's kind of at a, at a slanted angle so let me see if you can actually uh, have that uh, pattern with me head and shoulder I think we can actually look at uh, the both head and shoulders I'm not sure whether this will draw head and shoulder or not uh, but let's try I mean reverse head and shoulder let's try that okay let's try what's happening here left shoulder head no it's not it's a uh, it's head and shoulder we need a reverse head and, head and shoulder pattern uh, it's not drying it properly anyway you guys um, probably got what I'm wanted to say is that let me delete that first 
okay so we are considering this as left shoulder and this hole as our uh, this area at the head and this is our neckline right over here and this is our right shoulder so reverse head and shoulder is happening we have a trend and that's going on right from the top you can consider it from over here or you can actually consider that this from over here the more recent one is more um, I think reasonable so we can see that from this top we have a trend going on on the bearish side then we have a reverse head and shoulder fold and then we are expecting for the price to go on the upside and in terms of Elliott wave analysis we have completed wave 1 and we are very close to the completion of wave 2 and we are expecting for the price to go upward on, the, on its own we can see that the price fell on top of wave 1 right over here so um, wish you good luck with your trading if you want, like my content please do press thumbs up if you missed my call on gold and silver yesterday it was a very nice call we have seen a pretty nice uh, drop in gold and silver uh, you can refer back to my analysis on uh, gold and silver on my uh, channel and uh, the reason I'm mentioning it time and again because I have mentioned a couple of dates on it it will help you understand what's going on in the gold and silver market wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye